I refuse to let Galen's enemies dictate my actions. Yet I dare not move directly against the Firesong Circle or their Dreadsail's friends, as long as they're holding Stefan hostage. What say you, mercenary? Ready to earn some more House Monard gold? I don't trust Archdruid or Lath to spare my son, even if she gets everything she wants. I will instruct my knights to stand down. Let her think I am paralyzed by this threat. Meanwhile, we secretly work to save Stefan from the Fire Song. While Archdruid Orlaith sees my knights doing what she demanded, nothing. I want you to find Stefan and set him free. Dulef says the Stone Law and Elder Tide Archdruids are here in the city. Get them to tell you where Stefan is being held. I'm counting on you, mercenary. Save my son, and you can name your price. Duluth says Revol and Elec are by the bridge east of Vastia. Talk to them. They know parts of Galen no one else has even seen. They must have an idea where to find Stefan. A hard question, but a fair one. My house has always found it wiser to let the druids take care of their own affairs. Most of them dislike us as it is. Imagine their resentment if Mornards took sides in all their petty disputes. I blame his mother. Vissel took an interest in druid teachings when she came to Galen. She shared that interest with our son. When Vissel died, well, I could not forbid something Stefan had shared with his mother. While the Fire Song call Iphelon home, I suspect Orlaith will keep him close until she acquires the seeds from the other druid circles. He could be on a Dreadsail ship, but I doubt the Fire Song would trust their allies with such precious cargo. Respect? Perhaps not. But I left them mostly alone to practice their ancient religion. My biggest problem with them, before the current crisis, was their insistence to hold on to the past. Bretons need to embrace modern ways if we're going to thrive. Yes, but we used to control so much more. My father was the Duke of the Sisters. When he supported King Ranser in his war against the High King, Emmerich took the ducal title and awarded it to House Dufort. An unjust and harsh penalty, in my opinion. Count Bernard is slyer than I thought. The best way to disarm an enemy is to show them what they expect to see. Go talk to Raval and Elec. I saw them by the bridge east of the city. And good luck, mate. Aye, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Things seem simple enough. Sea elf pirates calling themselves the Dread Sails, harrying Galen. You turned back their attack at Windrack Fort. But then, we learned the Dreadsails had allies ashore. Aye. Archdruid Orlaith made a bargain with Sealord Nalos. Promised him a stronghold on Galen. In return, he was to get the Elder Tide Circle's sacred seed for her. And eliminate the Drefa. Archdruid Orlaith demanded the other Circles give her their sacred seeds. Said it was time to choose a new druid king. When they refused, her sea elf allies attacked. We fought them off and saved two of the arch druids, but Sir Stefan was captured. Wishing I was with you, most likely. I've got no head for strategy or court politics. But with Sir Stefan missing, Count Mornard's going to need my help with Vastir's defenses. My place is here in the castle, like it or not. Aye, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Things seem simple enough. Sea elf pirates calling themselves the Dread Sails, harrying Galen. You turned back their attack at Windrack Fort. But then, we learned the Dread Sails had allies ashore. Aye, 
Archdruid Orlaith made a bargain with Sea Lord Nalos. Promised him a stronghold on. I can't believe the Fire Song betrayed us. Attacking the Dreyfa. How will that bring the circles together? The Fire Song will answer for this crime, Galfin. By House Mornard's honor, this, this is I taking so swear. forever. I don't want vengeance, Feta. I don't want more death. I just. I just want my friends back. Archdruid Orlaith demanded the nature spirit, too. You must find free and keep them safe. But Stefan is in danger. I have to... What's that? Mount Firesong stirs. Archdruid Orlaith and her circle ignore their duties. First twin, then Dreyfadel. My circle takes pride in protecting what we love. War has come to Galen, but we have few warriors left to fight it. How could Archdruid Orlaith side with those pirates against her own people? Are you suggesting that the Elder Tide have anything to do with the treachery of the Fire Song, outsider? Hmm. One of our druids was captured in the attack on Tuin. I've had scouts searching all over for her, and they tracked the dread sails to Castle Turnier. It's a ruined keep on Galen's northwest shore. The keep is built over an old Eldertide village. A cave at the foot of the bluffs leads to the castle's dungeons. I think they're holding Druid Nerea there, as well as Sir Stefan. And... I had Nerea hide our seed there before the place was seized. I am trusting you, outsider. Rescue Druid Nerea and keep the sacred seed away from Archdruid Orlaith. Accomplish this, and the Elder Tide Circle will not forget it. Remember, Castle Turner on the northwest coast. I... do not know. I did not have a chance to speak with her after she returned from Castle Tonnerre. And then, our village was attacked. I know Nerea, though. She did as I asked. I am sure of it. The Sacred Seed. It's the relic they seek. I know how you help the druids at our village. Nerea will resist, but Sea Lord Nalos will break her eventually. I would join you, Mainlander, but my injuries will only slow you down. Ages ago, a Breton coin baron decided he liked the spot. He built his keep on top of an ancient Elder Tide village. My folk lacked the strength to stop him. But we never forgot the insult. 
A few seasons later, an elder Thai druid found the cave passage I told you about. He killed the coin baron in his bedchamber. The same thing happened to the next lord who claimed the castle. The place was eventually abandoned, and it fell into ruin. Laurel blames herself for Stefan's capture. He is dear to her, and to me. I tutored them both when they were young. Thank you again for defending us at the Drafer. I just wish we'd been able to save all the Archdruids and not just Elec and I. The trust of the Elder Tide isn't easy to earn. Elec would not reveal the hiding place of the Seed unless he truly thought you might find Stefan in the castle. So, will you truly attempt to rescue Sir Stefan and recover the Elder Tide Seed? Thanks to you and Dulef, I wasn't harmed. My fellow Archdruids weren't so fortunate. Still, we moved our sacred seed to a new location, known only to a few of the Stone Lore, and I'm sending Laurel to keep free safe. I pray it's enough. Archdruid Orlaith believes in a literal interpretation of the Dream of Kasserain. She sees the signs of the season as proof that the prophecy is upon us. That's why she seeks to gather all three sacred seeds, and why she wants free. Mount Firesong has certainly grown more active recently, but free only awakened due to the actions of the Firesong. Can one force a prophecy to come to pass? Still, I have a terrible feeling that Orlaith knows something we don't. And that concerns me. Mount Firesong rises above Iphelon, but its roots extend throughout the archipelago. It gives the islands their hot springs and steam vents, and usually these are curiosities, not particularly dangerous, but this recent activity is concerning. The island is sacred to all druids, but yes, the Fire Song call it home. The Circle's ancient duty is to calm the spirit of the volcano when it grows restless, yet the mountain grows angrier. I wonder if the Fire Song can contain it. Or want to. The volcano is erupting already. Lava vents long dormant on Galen and High Isle now flow with molten magma. The last time the volcano erupted, it caused terrible damage to the islands. Thousands of lives were lost. I pray it doesn't reach that level. as much if you're about to walk up and bang on the front gate let me stop you right here the ruins are full of dread sails you'll never get in that way sea lord nalo seems to be mustering his forces for something big sea lord nalos locked up three of my crew i'm going to free them and kill the bastard Unfortunately, the Dread Sails are here in greater numbers than I anticipated. Which makes me wonder how you plan to rescue the Lordling they have in there. I saw Nalos and some Firesong Druids arrive with a captive noble in Monard colors. The Druids left shortly after, but their prisoner stayed behind. Now you're here. Not hard to put wind and wave together. So what's your plan? A foolhardy rescue attempt? Perfect. Just the diversion I need. That should give me the chance to find my crewmates and confront Sea Lord Nalos. Take your secret path. I'll find another way in. We'll hit them from two directions. If you're heading for the dungeons, I'll scale the walls while you're clattering around downstairs. Once I free my crewmates, I'll see if I can find that sea snake Nalos. You know... 
this might actually work. He's a traitor and a murderer. The Gilded Blades used to lead the Dreadsail's fleet. We were loyal to King Orgnum and the Piandonian Armada, but Nalos was not satisfied with that. He challenged my brother Sreysa for leadership. Nalos won by using a poisoned blade. Then he promised the Dreadsail's vast riches if they forswore their oaths to King Orgnum and followed him into exile. A coward and a traitor. I will see him dead at my feet. I swear it. Many of the crews I've seen around here are new to the Dreadsail's fleet. I think Sea Lord Nalos is hiring on every band of murderous scum with an itch for plunder he can find. I wonder what he's offering them. Pirates don't gather in massive fleets unless the Sea Lord plans to descend on a large, well-defended port. The only one on Galen is Vastir. It's just a question of when and how Nalos chooses to launch his attack. Seen? No. But I've overheard some of the sentries talking about a druid they're holding somewhere in the castle. Maybe even the same one Nalos took from Suncleft Grotto. Aha. You think that relic he's looking for might be here too? Keep your little secrets, then. I don't have any interest in druids or their sacred relics. But if I find something that belongs to them, I'll be happy to turn it over. For a suitable finder's fee, of course. The tide druid broke, as I knew she would. Yes, Sea Lord. Are we finished with her? Keep her alive until we have the relic in hand.
Don't underestimate that. Friend, over here. Yoru welcomes. By the green, how did you find me, friend? No, I don't care. I'm just glad you're here. Your timing is excellent. I'm not sure I could endure another round of my jailer's torture. Dreadsail interrogation tactics aren't subtle. They pressed me for information about Vastir, defenses, weaknesses, those sorts of things. Sea Lord Nalos obviously has ambitions in Galen beyond the bargain he made with the Firesong Circle. Not easily. This lock has some sort of arcane reinforcement. You won't be able to pick it. We need the Jailer's Key. He's a fearsome brute called Goriad. His chambers are across the hall to the east. That's how he comes and goes, at least. He might. Or it might be stored somewhere in his chambers. Get the key however you can, but I'll shed no tears if you dispatch Goriad. to the shark! You return! And with the key, I hope. Thank you. Now let us speak without the bars between us. Oh, it feels good to be out of that cell. I heard quite a commotion earlier. Something about heads and traitors and kings. Was that your work? The sea elf that hunts others of her kind? Banner at court told me about Suncleft Cove. An unlikely ally. I don't mean to complicate things, but there's another prisoner. An elder tide druid named Nerea. We must rescue her as well. Of course. That explains much. See, Lord Nalos wants to get the seed for the fire song. Obviously, we can't let him have it. Nor can we leave Nerea to the cruelty of the Dreadsills. They've been interrogating her for hours. Then we must rescue Nerea and get her to tell us how to find the seed. We need to retrieve it before Sea Lord Nalos. Come, friend. The interrogation chamber is through the door to the north.
Nerea, I'll cut you free. Hold on. The seed. They're after the Elder Tide seed. It looks like Nerea's had an even tougher time of it than I have. Talk to her, friend. I'll keep watch. You and Sir Stefan are, are too late. I was weak. I told the Dread Sails about my circle's most guarded secret. Leave me behind and stop them before they escape with the Elder Tide relic. The Archdruid sent you? Then perhaps there's still hope. I hid the seat in an ancient Elder Tide shrine below the castle. But Sea Lord Nalos forced me to tell him how to find it. If only I'd been a little stronger. There's an ancient tree in the castle's upper courtyard. The door to the shrine lies hidden within its roots. Captain Uldis heads there as we speak. Please, don't let the Sea Elves take the sacred seed. Go ahead, Mainlander. Look for the ancient tree in the upper courtyard. I just need a moment to catch my breath, and then I'll be right behind you. Yes, there are sea elves held in the castle above. Traitors or outcasts among their own kind, I guess. I saw them once or twice when I was taken for questioning, but I didn't get a chance to speak with them. Sea Lord Nalos kept me in the dungeons. I'm sure he isn't holding any sea elf prisoners down here, so they must be elsewhere in the castle. One of the old towers, perhaps. This old keep stands above a pristine cavern, forgotten by all but the druids of my circle. After the lords of Tanair abandoned their castle, we reclaimed our ancient shrine. It serves as a secret meeting place and refuge when the need arises. When Archdruid Orlaith demanded our seed, we decided it was no longer safe in Tuin. Elik told me to take the seed and hide it. This was the most secret place I could think of. I didn't know the dread sails were coming, though. Yes. I'll stay with Nereo while you clear the way. We'll join you in the courtyard. Mercenary, up here! Captain Aldous entered the next courtyard. I leave her to you. With me, Gilded Blades. Time to make Sea Lord Nalos pay! The door to the shrine is... somewhere. Oh, no, 
Nothing is too big or too bad for us to handle. Take the seed, Mainlander. We can avoid the dread sails by using the back exit. Take the seed to Bastyr. It will be safe there. Look out! Behind us! Call me yourself. I am Captain Siravain of the Gilded Blades. Sea Lord Nalos escaped me. Curse his eyes. I learned two things you should know. The Fire Song also seek the Stone Lore Relic. And Nalos plans to attack Vastir soon. I appreciate the warning. Let's continue this outside. We should go, Mainlander. The passage to the north leads back to the shore. The Dreadsails will regret the day they made the Elder Tides circle their enemies. This I swear! We should return to Vastir immediately, friend. If Sea Lord Nalos plans to bring the Dreadsail fleet against the city, we must get ready to welcome him. I had Sea Lord Nalos at the point of my blade. Then a wall of bodyguards rushed between us, damn their sails. That's twice now the maggot-ridden eel has escaped me. <sighs> I'm done with this dank old druid shrine. Let's speak outside. Remember my warning. The dread sails are coming for Vastir. Talk to the Sea Elf. See if you can get any more details about this attack on Vastir or the Stone Lord Seed. Sea Elves never talk. They just plunder and kill. Why does this one want to confer with you? I recommend caution. It could be some sort of ruse. You're not worth my time, shark bait. But the captain thinks well of you for some reason. Talk to her, not me. Huh. We usually fight people like you. I guess it makes sense to the captain, though. Maybe you should talk to her. Well, my plan almost worked. And you did your part. Even rescued the Lordling and the Druid, I see. Sea Lord Nalos may have escaped my blade again, but I got my crew members back. Better than a leak in the hold, I suppose. Nothing more to tell. He's got a massive fleet, and it's going to sail straight for Vestia. He's just waiting for the Fire Song to provide their support. That won't come until they get the Stone Lore Relic. At least that's what Nalos indicated. Gather more of the Gilded Blades from wherever Nalos stashed them. Then wait for another chance to kill the bastard. Who knows, maybe I'll come to Vastir since I know Nalos will be there. As long as we share an enemy, I'm on your side. Shouldn't you take that relic someplace safe? Everyone seems rather concerned about the silly old things. It's the richest port on Galen, overflowing with plunder. Any pirate lord would gladly sack it if they thought they stood a chance. With the power of the Fire Song at his side, Sea Lord Nalos believes he can succeed. He also has a higher ambition. Nalos wants to be king. Once he captures Vastir, he plans to make it his throne. A large port with stout defenses would give him an island kingdom to call his own. And the power to defy King Orgnum and all the fleets of Piandonia. Because he's a disloyal bastard, the warships and warriors Sea Lord Nalos plans to use to further his own ambitions belong to King Orgnum, 
They're not his to command, nor is Galen his to rule. I'm here to deliver the king's justice. What? You think I need more than these two? Well, you're not wrong. These are two of my officers, Bellerin, first mate of the Mad Maiden, and Kovacs, our quartermaster. Sea Lord Nalos imprisoned them because they were loyal to me. They're scattered throughout the Dreadsail's fleet, forced to obey Nalos because they think I abandoned them. But once word gets around that I'm ready to challenge Sea Lord Nalos, they'll return to my side. Then the Mad Maiden will sail again. Come, tell me what happened at Castle Tenere. I didn't expect to leave that ruined castle alive. Thank you, Mainlander. Please, give the sacred seed to Archdruid Elec. Tell him I almost failed him, but I didn't, thanks to you. Nerea tells me you saved her from the dread sails at Castle Tenere. And that you recovered the sacred seed of our circle. Is this true? I... I can hardly believe it. Too many Elder Tide fell to fire song treachery and dread sails blades. I was sure we had lost our sacred seed as well. I'll hold on to this for now. If Archdruid Orlaith wants the seed, she can pry it from my dead hands. Then we'll give them a fight. The Breton Lords and I have our differences, but they build mighty walls. The Elder Tide will help defend them. You have my word. Oh, young Sir Stefan wants to speak with you. He said to find him at Castle Mornard. Count Mornard and his son are making plans in the throne room, and Sir Stefan wants you there. You should go. We will gather our strength within these great stone walls and prepare for the battle to come. My brothers and sisters are scattered, but we will not bow down to the Firesong or their sea elf allies. All seeds are a promise, Mainlander. A potential still to come. This seed was a gift from the last druid king, entrusted to the Elder Tide Circle countless ages ago. As long as we guard it, the dream of Kasserain lives. I will not let Orlaith take it. <laughs> Can you tear down a castle with this seed? No. But symbols have the power we give them. With our seed, the Fire Song could destroy the dream of Kasserain. Show me the spell or sword that can slay an idea, then we can talk. My son is returned. 
A celebration is in order. No, Father. The Dreadsails plan to attack Vastir. What? Mere pirates can't breach our walls. Once Archdruid Orlaith finds the Stone Lore Seed, the Fire Song and the Dreadsails will combine forces and strike. We must prepare. This is nasty business. Pirates and druids attacking the city. Sir Stefan has been expecting you. Go talk to him, mate. You were as good as your word, mercenary. None of my knights could have done better. Thank you for rescuing my son. He wants to speak to you, by the way. A storm is gathering, friend. Thanks to you, I'm here to meet it instead of languishing in a Dreadsail cell. And we managed to save Druid Nerea and secure the Elder Tide Seed. You have proven your worth yet again. Now we make use of the time we have and prepare the city's defenses. Gather allies and do what we can to keep the Sacred Seeds safe. But no matter what happens, I'm honored to fight by your side. Here, friend. My father wanted you to have this.